Hello and welcome to our tips and tricks video to accompany newsletter number 10. The first tip is about Analyst Notebook and the second one is iBase. To make it a little bit more interesting, what we also thought we'd do is to use a different environment for recording the video. But this time I'm recording on a Mac and we're using Amazon Workspaces. This is the environment that we use when we deliver our online training. So here's an Amazon Workspace. It's got everything we need for the training and I'm accessing it just through the internet. Okay, so I'm gonna just go to Analyst Notebook where I already have a chart showing some people and the companies they are directors of. And for presentation purposes, we're gonna simplify it by using boxes. You can see here, we have four people inside Atherton Insurance who are principals in the company, three people inside GHP. Here the boxes are representing companies, which is a very traditional way of showing companies and their principal members. But you could imagine those boxes could be anything. They could be organized crime groups. It could be the team of burglars. This is the team of sellers or fences. Uh, these are the suppliers of drugs. These are the sellers of drugs, etc. So a box is a good way of grouping anything. Now a box is an entity just like any other. It's just a different representation. So over on the palette on the right here, I've got my icons, which I'm using normally in association charts. I've got my theme lines and my event frames, which I typically use for timeline charts. And here is the box. So I'm choosing box. I'm going to choose my entity type, in this case, organization, click and drag, and there's my box. Now, just like any entity, I can double click or right click, edit the item properties, and here are all the usual properties that you would expect. It's just an entity like any other. Now, a few useful things you can do with a box. Obviously, you can move them. It's easiest to move them by picking them up by the label or the edge. Don't click in the middle because they're basically empty at the moment. And if you want to resize a box, you simply click on it and you get the drag handles as you would expect. Now, a few other useful tips. Um, it's often quite helpful to be able to move these labels. So for example, I think GHP Limited might look better down the bottom right. So I'm simply going to hold down the Alt key and then click and drag that and I can drop it anywhere. You may well have done a similar thing sometimes with your link labels. Another thing you might want to be able to do is to use grouping on boxes as a convenient way of moving things. At the moment, if I try and move GHP Limited, it leaves the people behind. So like a lot of other software, you can select the things that you want to group. And on the Arrange tab, Group. And now these can be moved as one item. Now another thing you might want to do is to link boxes. So you can link boxes just like you would imagine. I'm going to link Atherton to GHP Limited using an owner link. And as I link, I'm going to hold the Control key down, which will put an arrow on it to show the ownership direction. There's my owner link. And if I want to, I can move this link up and down. At the moment, it sits in the middle of the overlap of the two boxes. And I can move it by using a corner. So you often use corners to bend links, but here we're going to use them to move them between the two boxes. So over on the palette where the links are, there's a little drop down. In there, I choose insert corner click where I want the corner on the link, and now I can move that up and down. Now, just a quick final note on that corner. It shows as a little blob, so you can pick it up and move it. But if you were to print the chart, it would just print as a nice, neat, straight line. Okay, so hopefully those have been helpful. Uh, some tips and tricks about the use of boxes and a few things you can do with them. So now what we're going to go and do is have a look at iBase. So iBase is running. Here it is. And I'm going to show you how you can view links for a particular person in my iBase database. I'm going to search them using Search360. Here's the person I want, Vidal Picard. And what I'd like to do is get a quick overview of his links. Now, I can always right click and go and do an iBase link chart. Just show you that one in case you've not seen that before. And that's fine if there aren't too many links, but if they get to be too many, this can be a bit overwhelming. So instead, what I'm going to do is to use the links dialog. I'm just going to close this one, and I'll show you several ways of getting to it. Again, right mouse click, I've got links. 
Or if I happen to be already showing the record, which I'll do now, I can right click there, links, click on the drop down, I've got links, or even this little toolbar up here, there's links. Now what's nice about this dialog is it gives you the ability to get this nice overview of the different types of link used and then go into the detail when you want it. So for example, I can see he's got two associate links. If I click on it, I can then see here the two people. If I choose one of them, then over here on the right hand side, I've got the details of that particular record. And again, we can interact with this record. Notice up here, lots of things I can do, including go to their links and so on, or show the detail record. And then down here, that's the detail of the link itself. Let's have a look at a different one. Let's see the phones this particular person has. Now it could be that I'm interested in this mobile phone. So let's click on that one. And let's go and see what this links dialog box can do with the mobile phone. So I'm going to go up to my arrow here, choose links. And now I'm looking at the mobile phone as the center and the links coming off it. Now, as you might expect with the phone, there could be lots of calls. Here I've only got seven because I want to just help you to see the results more easily. If I click on that, I get a nice neat summary here of those links. And for each entity, how many links there are, including by direction. Now let's pick this one because it's got both incoming and outcoming. Again, on the right, I can see the details of the phone, but down here, these are the calls. And I can filter by direction. So that's given me a good overview of the links for this particular entity. In the same way, when I was looking at Vidal Picard's record, I could see his links. Okay, so hopefully those have been useful tips and tricks for you. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to come out or minimize iBase and Analyst Notebook. Just as a quick reminder, that was done through the Amazon Workspace we have set up for our online training. If you'd like any more information about what we do, the sorts of training we provide, both online and in the classroom, then please contact us at our website uh, or you can email in. If you would like more information about the newsletters, they are available from our website. You can download them. Or if you would like to, you can let us know you'd like them emailed to you whenever they come out. We tend to produce about four newsletters a year, and generally speaking, they'll have an analyst notebook tip and trick and an iBase tip and trick. Feel free to share this with your colleagues if you think it'll be useful, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Thank you.